girls think Yan is a very handsome guy. So my boss right now is a very handsome guy. What about what about no. Like 8.5. 8.5? Yeah. Do you guys think he's handsome? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Yan, man. Shout out Yan. W Riz, W Riz. Unspoken Riz. Yes, sir. So, what's up, guys? I'm with Alexandru. So, Alexandru, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Just be honest. Answer me honestly. What is the worst name you could give to a boy? The worst name? It's probably Edward. Edward? Edward Why is that? Bad. Uh, I don't know, it just gives me vibes of like 1700 England, and that's just gross. So, what is, so what do you think of the worst name you could give to a girl? A girl? Uh, it's a bit more tough. I'd say Olivia. Olivia? What about Peggy? Oh, that's worse. Where's your truth? Oh, Damn, huh? I just didn't have time to think, you know, so I couldn't they come up with it. ones like Penelope. If you call that, RIP, you know? It's yeah. tough. So, just be honest, you know, you don't have you don't have to cap. What, do you know any Asian restaurants besides Thai Express and Panda Express? Uh, well, the, the bubble tea, if it counts. Bubble tea? You know, yeah, that counts, that counts. Ah! Okay, that counts. Yeah. And, have you ever dated an Asian person? And if not, why? Um, no, and it's because, um, I've had too many experiences with Asian people. I went yeah. to College Saint Louis. I don't know if you know where that is. Yeah, I know Saint Louis. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Asian people there, and uh, overall, not very good experiences. And why is that? Like, you could be suspicious, you know. Like, you don't have to like hold back. Overall, too nerdy. Um, there was a couple of nice people, and I, I was friends with a couple of Asian people, but girls a bit less. Do you feel like? Asians tend to stick in their own bubble, like especially the ones from like the like you know from China that come here and like immigrate here. Do you think they stick in their own bubble, or do you think that they're pretty inclusive? From what I've seen, uh, they do tend to stick together and a bit more uh, reserved and introverted. But uh, generally, I wouldn't. I can't really be too. I can't really generalize. So, and if you could live anywhere in Montreal right now, and you don't have to think about money, you don't have to think about bread, where would you live? I would say Saint Laurent. <laughs> and why Saint Laurent? It's uh, not too far from downtown. Uh, it's still in the Montreal area, but it's not too crowded. And I don't know. I feel like down living downtown would be a bit too extreme for me. So that's why. Yeah, like most people would say Westmount. You know, downtown and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's also a very good, uh, very good answer. So um, my last question to you is. What advice would you give new immigrants? You know, like, you know there's a lot of new immigrants. You, put, you go to McGill, right? Yeah. Yeah, same. And like, there's a lot of students that come here, right? Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of new families come in here, you know? Yeah. What advice would you give them in, like, that could help them adapt to this society? Well, uh, speaking for myself, uh, what helped me a lot is sticking with my own people, but at the same time, trying to talk to other people as well but I, I wouldn't get like super close with other people but I'd still try to include everyone in my friend group and talk with everyone even though I'd stick mostly with people of my own culture and what what culture are you from I'm uh, from Romania so Romania? it's Eastern European culture Roma there's not a lot of Romanians here in Montreal are there uh, well I know a lot of Romanians because obviously we stick together but uh, they might not you might not see them represented too much because uh, generally we're also a pretty a uh, bit more uh, introverted and you know we stick in our own bubble as well that's it bro thank you and thank you, you know so have a good day you too